everybody. This is Pastor Susan, and welcome to another day of devotions this Thanksgiving week as we are focusing on praise and thanksgiving to God and thinking about living a life, a secret of success that is living a life that is marked with gratitude and thanksgiving. And today we're going to be focusing on how we are called to thank God, our Creator. Um, I, I really want us to remember a couple of things. One, at times, and we can all identify with this, our, our focus can narrow to being very, very, having very, very tunnel vision about circumstances, uh, things that are challenging in our lives, things for which we are um, just, that are tragic that happen in our world every day. And it's very, very easy for us to focus focus only on that and lose the perspective of, of the big picture. Um, and so today we're going to be looking at a psalm of praise. And uh, I want to read this to you and then I want to bring up something that I think might uh, be challenging and also uh, something maybe we can practice together. Um, this is from Psalm 33 and I'm going to be reading verses 1 through 12, and this is entitled, in my Bible, this is entitled, The Greatness and Goodness of God. Listen to these words. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous. Praise befits the upright. Praise the Lord with a lyre. Make melody to him with the harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts, for the word of the Lord is upright and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made and all their hosts by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea as in a bottle. He put the deeps in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He frustrates the plans of the people. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. So, um, as I said, we can sometimes narrow our vision, tunnel vision into circumstances and into things that are, are challenging and not to say that we don't need to pay attention to the things that need attention in our world. I mean, and, and sometimes we need to lament some of those things. But uh, we will see in the Psalms and in throughout the Bible this effort to acknowledge that God is bigger <laughs> than all of that and that God is our source and therefore we are called as God's people to respond, to respond in gratitude, in thanksgiving, and in praise. Now, I love this. I was, I was reading this that, you know, most of the uh, translations of the Bible that we have use words uh, that are very, they sound kind of churchy, um, like sing joyfully or shout joyfully. Um, but in the message, Eugene Peterson paraphrased it as good people, cheer God, cheer God. Now I was cheerleader when I was in high school and I my job was to get people riled up so that they would cheer the team on forward. And there's my dog cheering as well. <laughs> I think she's hearing me get excited. <laughs> but anyway, I want us to think about what does it mean to cheer God? Um, we, we don't have any problem with that when we are watching football or basketball or baseball. When we're, at, when we're watching a game, uh, the crowds cheer. Uh, for our team, which cheer for the ones who are leading the way. And um, I was uh, watching football not long ago, uh, college football, and I'd gone upstairs 
And um, I was watching TCU. They're my alma mater, and they've been doing great. If y'all haven't been watching football, TCU's done an ma amazing job. But I just started shouting and, you know, just cheering them. And Ron came up and said, are you okay? <laughs> I said, yeah, I am, but I'm just excited. I'm giving thanks. Um, and so I, I want us I, to think about that. Because sometimes when we come to church, uh, we often think that the best way that we can honor God is be, be quiet, to be still. And I, I'm all about that. I'm all about recognizing, taking a moment out of our busyness of, with all the noise and the, the clatter, you know, the, the, the stuff that's going on, to take those moments of quietness and stillness to recognize that God is God and we are not. But once we do that, there is also a place for this expression of thanksgiving and cheering God. Um, I was at the regional assembly not long ago, and, and on the last day of the assembly, we had a wonderful gospel uh, group that came together with the band that we had for the event and we just sang and we praised God and um, and we were uh, we were honored to have the Reverend Dr. Don Gillette as the preacher for the day and and he did that as well and um, I'm, I'm actually recording this before Reverend Gillette comes to preach at our church but when you hear this, you will have experienced his preaching and you will know um, that he is full of the joy of the Lord and we are called to be as well. And so I just want to encourage us to think about how we might do that. How can you and I cheer God? I'm telling you, if you can cheer your football team or your basketball team or your baseball team or sports team, you have the ability to cheer God. And so today I'm going to invite you to say, thank you, God. Thank you for all of your blessings. Thank you for your presence that is with us that will not let us go for the love that you have given to us in Jesus Christ, for the call that you've given to us, the privilege to share your love with a hurting world. You know, this last uh, thing was happy is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. And of course, the writer of Psalms was talking about Israel there. But I believe Jesus shows us that God's choosing is for all of us. And so blessed are you and me that we get to be involved in this work and in this joyous reflection of the love and the grace of God in our world. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. And the people of God said, Amen! <laughs> and Amen.